subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss a video from Fever FM. See, we are an integration of many things. The food that we eat is a complex assembly of various things in the world. Essentially, it is the soil. It's extremely important we understand if you want to do Ayurveda properly, the most important thing is a rich soil. Unfortunately, that's missing today. Especially in India, right now, people are saying nearly 60 to 62 percent of India's soil has organic content, which is less than 0.5 percent. So we are working towards how to enhance the organic content of the soil because the health of the soil and the health of who we are are not different. What you call as soil is the life of life. The source of life is soil in many ways. Whether you are a grasshopper or a human being or an elephant, still you are from the soil, it's not different. So everything that comes from soil is capable of helping you towards enhancing life. So in Ayurveda, we say that every leaf, every root, every bark, everything that's found on the planet has medicinal value. Only a few things we have learned to use because everything is of the same structure. Fundamentally, the design of life, whether it's an amoeba or a plant or an animal or whatever, the fundamental life process is same. Between plant life and animal life, there is a significant difference and plant life is more useful to us uh, for medicinal value than animal life. Animal life has a different kind of structure where very, very similar to our own. So anything that is further away from us genetically always works as medicine and health generating. So this is the reason why generally in this country, probably even today, India has the maximum number of vegetarian people. And even those who claim to be non-vegetarian, they can't eat a slab of meat as it is being eaten elsewhere. They are only eating meat as a side dish for a little bit of extra nourishment. That's about it. Very few people in India can ever eat a full slab of meat as it is eaten in Western countries. So this understanding has come from a deep-rooted uh, perception that if you want to be healthy, you must eat that kind of genetic structure, that kind of cellular structure, which is furthest away from your own structure. So plant life is furthest away. If you have to eat animals, the first and the best thing to eat is waterborne creatures. Anything that is a mammal has a significant impact on who you are and your health and well-being. Today, Western scientists are coming to this. Nearly 55% of the coronary heart diseases and deaths have happened mainly because of meat consumption.